how to use the decorated pots in Minecraft. This video is going to explain getting decorated pots and how to use decorated pots. Decorated pots are in the Minecraft 1.20 update, Trails and Tales, so it isn't in the game yet, but if there are any changes, I'll have an updated video on the top right. How to get the decorated pot. The crafting recipe for the decorated pot is four bricks or pottery shards in this pattern in the crafting table. The crafting recipe can be adjusted to all bricks or different pottery shards. The texture on the sides of the decorated pot will depend on the pottery shard or brick placed in each slot of the crafting recipe. There are 20 different pottery shards that will give you a wide variety of options for the look on the sides of the decorated pot. To get the pottery shards, you will have to excavate with a brush the suspicious sand or gravel blocks and an item will emerge from that block. The pottery shards are one of the possible loot items in the suspicious blocks. There are four locations where you can find suspicious blocks. They are the ocean ruins, the desert temples, the desert wells, and the new trail ruin structure. How to use decorated pots. The decorated pot is a directional block so when it is placed the front will be facing out. If you mine the block with your hand or with a tool with silk touch it will drop the decorated pot. However, if you use an unenchanted tool like a pickaxe, this will break the decorated pot and drop the pottery shards or bricks. If you craft the decorated pot with the wrong pottery shards, it is easy to break it and craft it again. The decorated pots do not stack in your inventory. If you plan on using a lot of them in a build, it is going to be tedious to craft them and store them. The display for the decorated pot will show the front and the left side of the decorated pot. The purpose of the decorated pot is to be able to put a flower pot in the top and a flower in that pot like this. I like this because it could make flowers stand out especially with landscaping. The decorated pot isn't a full block, it is slightly less length and depth wise. This means it won't connect with other blocks like fences, gates, or walls. The height of the decorated pot is a full block. The top part of the decorated pot does not have a collision box so other blocks can be placed on top of it. You can stack different decorated pots on top of each other to create a pattern or make a totem pole. Also you can place other blocks on top to create a difference of depth like this with terracotta. It could be used on the corners of builds. From playing around with decorated pots, other blocks like fences, gates, chains, pressure plates, slabs, stairs could be placed on top of the decorated pots. The blocks that couldn't be placed on top were redstone components or rails. I feel like the decorated pot is going to end up being used in a lot of different ways for building as it can be used with other blocks.